Michael Burry, if you guys don't know Michael Burry, uh, can we talk, look, look at this? I will wrap up with this one last topic. So Dr. Michael Burry is the guy that predicted the stock market crash in 07, 08, the Great Recession. At that time, people were thinking, this guy, Dr. Michael Burry, he's, you're, 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 you're nuts. He got these banks to issue basically insurance called credit default swaps that these mortgage-backed securities that they were selling on stock market, which were filled with people making 15, 20, 30-year mortgages, that they were, ever, they were never, ever going to stop paying their mortgage if the market, market crisis was to continue, what, what we discover. They discovered that what? People stopped paying their mortgages. Foreclosure rates went high. People are underwater, uh, uh, we call it reverse uh, negative equity. And he made a, a ton of money, made billions of dollars on making that, making that call, making that correction. Well, we've been in the largest economic expansion in the history of the United States in the last 14 years. Make a long story short, last Monday... Dr. Michael Burry makes another bet again and says there is a stock market loss. But all the analysts say, dude, he's wrong. I don't know. When he's a guy out there that's predicted this and constantly being talked to, and he's, he's by the way, he, by nature, he's a weird guy, very smart guy. He won't make a bet like this. So he, he bet $1.6 billion against the S&P and NASDAQ last quarter. A lot of people say he's, he's a one-trick pony. And his wager is a loser, this uh, analyst Mark uh, Shaken uh, said. Uh, past bears were shrewder, more influential, and had better track records than, 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 than Burry. So he's a bear market investor. But however, this $1.6 billion, from what I understand, obviously continue, we'll continue doing research and driving deep on this topic, but apparently 90% of his portfolio is on this one bet. So he's not like trying to trickle in like this might – never happened. No, he's saying I have a 90% shot that I'm putting my money where my mouth is, that this might go wrong. So in addition to what's going on with COVID, in addition to what's going on in the stock market, these are things we need to be aware of because if you have money inside your 401k plan, last year people lost 20%. This year it, it, uh, it, it's starting to tick back up again, but it's only driven by seven companies in the S&P 500. If you remove these seven companies this year in 2023 through the growth of the S&P 500, we'd have a, what, a 0.8% return in the S&P 500. The only reason why we're up this year in the S&P 500 is because of these seven companies like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, et cetera, et cetera. So have a conversation of defense, of a defensive strategy when it comes to your savings in your retirement plans, but also have an offensive strategy is how to replace income from the circumstances we talked about earlier in the show. So with that being said, what are your thoughts? On this specific topic, I'm, I'm going to act extremely ignorant, and I'm going to ask you a basic question. How does the general population get affected by this? And maybe what are like three things you can actually do actively to make sure that they don't get affected by this heavily? Very simple. Last year, uh, excuse me, last recession, people lost. People, we jokingly said people's 401ks turned into 201ks. Mm. So if you got your money inside a 401k plan, you got your money inside home equity, potentially you might have a loss in all that. So I'd have a defensive strategy. I've always said this. I took this from military training. Plan for the worst, but expect the best. So even if the worst case scenario doesn't happen, you're ready for you know what. So I'm not saying the sky is falling. That's not, that's not the way we market our, our businesses or we market our podcast. But these things is something you just need to be aware of. Because when guys like this, with this type of track record over their whole entire lifetime, makes calls like this, you got to pay attention. The whole marketplace pays attention to a guy like this. So, again, have a defensive strategy. If you've been saving money, you've been paying off your house, you've been diligent in your work, you've been diligent in your savings, you've been diligent in paying your mortgage, these are assets that a lot of people build wealth in. These are assets now that you have to protect in case the worst case scenario happens because a lot of people didn't do an 07, 08, 08, 09. By the way, I keep receipts. This is a newspaper from what what date, uh, Milton? Uh, November? 25th, 2008. This is when Obama was making some shots. Here's his five... Uh, uh, there's five keys to get the economy back on track. This was an abysmal failure in 07, 08, 09. It was called the Great Recession. And uh, this guy right here is a picture of a guy that's losing, losing his house. So with that being said, though, it was also followed up by the greatest economic expansion in the history of America. So when noise is happening, a lot of people that are playing offense, they run towards the noise and find out what the opportunities are. They find out what the problems are. They find out what the opportunities are. When can, I, when can I apply myself? Because in those moments, the seeds of greatness and the f- seeds of future millionaires and billionaires are being birthed and planted at that moment. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.